uh, light train uh, project in Jerusalem is just a perfect example to the um, apartheid policy which is taking place here in uh, Israel-Palestine. In April 2006, the construction work for the Jerusalem light rail began. By June 2010, the rail track for the 23 stations of Lane 1 was laid. Yara Saadi from Who Profits, an organization collecting information about Israeli and international companies involved in the occupation, explains. A quick uh, look at the uh, trams plan, it exposes that it goes through parts in the West Bank, uh, however, um, not Palestinian villages but uh, Israeli settlements. The line leads from Mount Herzl in West Jerusalem to the largest Jewish settlement in East Jerusalem, Pisgat Ze'ev, thus silently crossing the Green Line and serving several Israeli settlements beyond it. The project simply aims to connect these Israeli settlements, which are illegal according to the international law, with Jerusalem. Moreover, Israel confiscated Palestinian-owned land for building the railway. For example, in Shafat, they confiscated 2,000 square meters uh, of land that belongs to a Palestinian resident. And in the future, it's going to confiscate more lands uh, to build the parking services next to the station. Yara Saadi does not see Palestinians benefiting from the light rail. Due to the political implications as well as for pragmatic reasons, for example the high ticket fare, she assumes that Palestinians will simply continue to use the local Palestinian bus system. Therefore, the main population who will benefit from it are the settlers. Yara Saadi stresses the importance of linking the Jerusalem light rail project to the call for BDS, boycott, divestment and sanctions. CityPass, the company which won the tender to construct and operate this train includes five companies. Two of them are French-based and they're multi-international. The first one is Veolia Transport and the other one is Alstom. In 2007, both companies were taken to court by the PLO and the Association France-Palestinian Solidarity on the violation of international law. However, Neither Alstom nor Veolia are out of the light train project yet, so we need to continue uh, pressuring them to withdraw this project. According to Yara Saadi, the Jerusalem light rail project can serve as an example for future BDS campaigns and can help to raise awareness. I think that everybody should not take things into granted, but to ask more questions about this project and any other projects in Jerusalem. After multiple delays, the light rail line is supposed to finally start working in August 2011. Yara Saadi concludes. I don't see how Palestinians can be involved in a project that um, contributes to the normalization of uh, the occupation.